happy Monday to everybody. So today I'm going to share with you uh, my new beauty basket for the next couple of weeks. As you guys know, I switch these baskets out every two to three weeks <laughs> at this point, um, depending on when I kind of get around to it. The purpose is to shop my own stash and to use things that maybe I haven't used in a while or just to use things that are different. Um, I have a tendency to gravitate towards things um, I'm very habitual about everything that I do in my life and so it, this just kind of forces me to switch things around and to try things again that I haven't used in a while or that I need to test to determine whether I actually want to keep them in my collection or not. And I actually have a good sized bag already going for my nieces of things that I've used over the last few months that were in my beauty basket that just didn't work for me and that I'm going to be passing along to them. So. I'm going to start first though with the things that I'm not switching out and there are a few things that are kind of staying the same for a couple of reasons, namely that there are things that um, I really enjoy using like my foundations <laughs> and I don't really switch those up very often. Um, there's primers I'm trying to use up, there's you know mascaras that I'm trying to use up, things like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my primers. So the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer, I will be done with this probably maybe by like mid-July so um, I'm looking to use this guy up also look how big of a dent I have my finished 7 by summer update video coming up later on this week but look how big of a dent I've made in the hourglass mineral veil primer I love this stuff so I'm trying to use this up by middle of July I don't think I'm gonna completely use it up but I feel really good that I've gone through so much of it um, this does have an SPF of 20 in it, so it does have an expiration date. I'm not sure what that expiration date is, but I've had it at least for a year and a half, so I figure it's time to just kind of use it up. I'm wearing it today. It's so nice. I love this. Not that this is a review video. I also have the Urban Decay Anti-Aging um, Primer Potion, and this is just a little sample, guys, so I'm looking to use that up. I always have the Josie Moran Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil in here. That is for when I get dry patches around my face. So, um, Foundation wise, what I'm using is Everyday Minerals Winged Butter in the Matte Formula at this point. Since it's summer, it's time to switch from the semi-matte to the matte because I get oilier in the summer. Um, Celebration Foundation from It Cosmetics in Light Medium, just to switch it up. I also grabbed the, um, and I grabbed this a few days ago, the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Fair. Mine is actually particularly dark, so I'm hoping that I can use this up this summer. This is one of my favorite powder foundations. The only thing is, like, even though this says Fair, it comes off as pretty dark on me because the veining in this particular one had a lot more of that, like, dark beigey color in it. That's kind of the issue with this is you never know what's you're gonna what you're gonna get. Sometimes the fair is extremely fair and it's like a perfect match for me, but this one's definitely a lot darker than normal. So, um, Polish Choice Healthy Finish Pressed Powder, love this. This is actually a new one because I've finished my other one. And then I also have the Healthy Balance um, from Bourjois. This is their powder foundation. And um, okay, I thought that was loose in there. <laughs> Um, my friend Stephanie sent this to me. This just popped out of here. I'll have to glue that back in. But um, I have this to put over top of the Balance and Brighten and sort of like tone that down a little bit because it's that one's pretty dark. But I do want to use it up and it is summertime now, so now is the time for me to use it up. Okay, and then lastly, there are two lip products that are staying the same because I'm working on using them up. My XXL Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Kiss from Essence. Also, my Essence Lipstick in Creamy Nude, which, I mean, within the next couple of days, I'm not going to really be able to get this on without using a brush, and I just, I'm not a brush person, so this will be gone soon. Um, mascaras that I've got here, I've got a ton of mascara, this is like ridiculous, but um, Laura Geller Glam Lash, NYX Badonkadonk, uh, Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Paula's Choice Fantastic Lash and the Essence uh, Princess Lash. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, Kat Von D Immortal Love uh, Autograph Eye Pencil. This actually is going to go away, so I'm not going to show that. Um, 
uh, beige Betty brow box from Urban Decay and then also my NYX micro brow pencil and the Anastasia dip brow so those products all kind of generally stay the same and these mascaras are ones that I'm trying to use up so all right so that's the stuff that's all staying the same and I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through the Alex 9 drawer to pick um, lip stuff cheek stuff. By, by the way, I just realized that I don't have any blush on. I totally forgot blush today. Let's do that real quick. We can start with this guy because I've already pulled this. It's the Physician's Formula Brunettes. I really like this one. I feel all naked without blush. <laughs> it's really nice and subtle. So there we go feel a little bit fresher. So let's go pick out some more blush, some eyeshadows, some palettes, and some lip stuff. So let's get going. Okay. So here's your behind the scenes look of my mess. Um, okay, this top drawer, let's pull out a couple of drugstore eyeshadows. I think um, I want to do something with the Amber Rush. I actually pulled this out not that long ago, but I ended up not really using it, so I really want to pull this guy out again. Um, there's not much else that's really appealing to me in here right now, so these are all NYX. These are, these are all pretty dark, and I'm trying to keep it somewhat lighter and bronzier, so probably we'll leave that at that <laughs> let's come down here so these are like higher end um eyeshadow singles quads things that are a little bit smaller um i think i might pull this little rock trio this is super pretty This is nice. This is the Sephora uh, Outrageous Prismachrome, and this is Outrageous Metallic Beige. That's really pretty. That would be nice for like a light lid look. I'm going to try to focus more on um, palettes this go around. So I don't think I'm going to pull too many singles. These are all Lorac singles here. Yeah, I think. That might be it for singles. Okay. Color tattoos. I have a lot of them. Why don't I pull... Bad to the Bronze is one I haven't used in a really long time. This is Bad to the Bronze. I really like this one. And it'll go great with this whole, like, bronzy theme. I don't need any primers. I don't think I'm going to switch out my liners. Maybe I'll pull the L'Oreal Infallible in this taupe. I think it's called Forever Taupe. Yeah, we'll grab that guy. I'm really only gonna try to use this basket for the next couple of weeks, but we'll see how I do with that. Okay, let's check out some blushes here. Mac. Oh, I always like this one. This is Mocha, right? Yep, okay. Set that over there. Let's also pull out the blondes from the Physician's Formula. I really like this. I like both of the blondes and the brunettes. Um, maybe this little cargo single here. This is in the Big Easy. This one's really pretty. It's a great kind of neutral pink lighter. Ooh, and this. This is now discontinued, but this is one of my favorites from Milani. This is the Luminous Blush. So, yeah, I think that's good right there. Okay, so these are bronzers and highlighters in here. And I really kind of want to pull this out again. I've been thinking about this. It's the Hourglass. Hey, guys. <laughs> Trio, blush trio. I really want that like coral color in the what is it called? Hang on a second here. Incandescent Electra and Luminous Flush. I think I'm gonna pull this guy. Okay. 
don't think I'm going to grab anything else. Oh, there's a couple of other things that stayed the same. I'll show those to you in the end here. Face products. I don't think I need to grab anything out of here because I've got all of my powder foundations picked out. And this is mostly powder foundations, face powders, concealers. I don't need any heavy concealing right now. My skin's doing pretty good. So I probably won't grab anything out of here. Okay, lips. By the way, I finally found some acrylic organizers. They are really not ideal, but I don't know. At least I got most of these glass jars cleared out. I still need to get one sort of big one for the back here for glosses. Um, I can see my lipsticks a lot better this way, so that's kind of fun. All right, so let's maybe take... I don't want anything too dark. Um... Maybe let's do, oh gosh, I don't know. How about this? This is one that I'm actually trying to finish up. This is Free Love from Too Faced. Let's do the Whisper, Color Whisper for Maybelline in Lust for Blush. I don't think I'm gonna pull a lot of lipsticks or glosses this go around because again I'm trying to finish some stuff up I think this will be really pretty for right now this is the quo in the color salmon I believe my friend Steph sent this to me so let's pull that out too it's pretty for this time of year and that might be it I don't think I want any of these glosses back here maybe this guy this is the Milani gloss in coral crush maybe I'll grab that too okay that that's plenty, especially for only a couple of weeks. All right, the palette drawer. Sorry, I have to adjust here. I don't want this to be too shaky, but all right. Um, I don't know. I find this drawer really overwhelming sometimes. Okay, I do know that this one has been on my mind. It's the Lorac Pro 2, so... I think I'm going to grab this guy. That's really pretty. Okay, and then one more. Let's do two. What about... You know what? The Tamana palette from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Oh, geez, Louise. This is ridiculous. I have missed this guy. I really love this palette. So let's bust this bad boy out. Okay, that's a good variety there. This is like a puzzle. Every time I have to get something out and then like put things back in, it's like a freaking puzzle. For the love of God. Okay. If I had some editing skills, I would totally edit this part out. <laughs> okay. And then let's... Sorry, my desk is so messy, you guys. A couple things that are going to stay the same also, just because I'm trying to finish them up. Sorry. Oh, geez. And don't mind my dirty. The NYX uh, blush and taupe. Look how much I've used. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. The NYX blush and taupe. These are both taupe from NYX, but I prefer this. And then also my beloved um, eyeshadow single from Wet n Wild in, what's it called? Brulee. So that's it. These things are going away. So I'm going to clean everything out and put these things back into their like different containers so welcome to my madness here so um yeah sad to be putting these guys away oh my gosh I'm gonna miss them but I'll get them out again in a few months but love both of those all right guys thank you guys so much for watching how many times can I say guys in this video probably at least 10 uh have a great week <laughs> I'll see you in some other videos very shortly. I'm hopefully going to try to record another video today. So we'll see if I can be consistent this week. Wish me luck.